What's up everybody? Today's mission, bacon wrapped grouse. We're shooting what I'm calling the killer bee. That's yellow heart and uh, black silk micarta. This is burning skull latex, 0.65, one inch here, three quarter inch of the pouch, and a super sure pouch. Uh, 6.5 active draw length finished this one up last night anyhow um, lots of grouse out and about we're gonna do our best to put a couple in the skillet for this evening's dinner see you on the trail Good boy, Salty. Good boy. I got him. We got him. We got him. Oh, yeah. Solid headshot. He's not going anywhere. Whew. New slingshot works well. Good boy, salty dog. All right, headshot spruce grouse. Brand new slingshot hot off the press yesterday. Love it. All right, Sean, look at this. That is a King Belit. Got a cap like a toasted marshmallow. Nice light brown stem, and I don't know if we can get it on there, but there's some like very light um, netting uh, on the stem. These came up, looks like a day or two ago. You can tell by, see how this is starting to yellow and the slugs have had a night to get at them. That one looks like it came up yesterday. Either way, these are both gonna be great. We'll uh, cook these up with a bird. Yeah! Again, uh, Belitus edulis, King Belit. Top of the mushroom, edible picking list. Excellent find. Man, it's beautiful here. Can't wait till we get a little bit of snowfall. This is like premium trapping grounds. There's coyote tracks all over the place. Wolf tracks here and there. Rabbit sign all over. Lynx droppings. This place is gonna have some action. right in here somewhere. All done. We got him, Salty. We got him. Pretty bird. 
headshot. He's all done. Yeah. Go get it. Where's the bird? Did you get the bird? Where's the bird, big dog? The bird took off, huh? Huh. Aha, we found him. All right. Good boy, salty dog. Yeah, we got that one on the side of the head. Good deal. Good deal, good deal. That's three for, that's three for this, uh, Oh, this one got hit in the head and flew about 30 yards and then crawled into the, this little spot where we found it. So, whew, must have just nicked it. Time. You know what this fire needs? Time. Structure is sound, heat is there. We need a little bit of wind, a little bit of time. Catch up with you in a second. All right, here we go. We got the GoPro Hero 9 right here, which is worthless in Alaska. I hope they updated the GoPro Hero 10. Um, this one's battery dies on me. Any time that it's colder than 20 degrees, which is most of the season that I'm interested in filming. Um, we got a Red Hook Stormy Surge IPA. We got a pound of bacon. We got a delicious King Belit here that needs to be cleaned up. We got a grouse. We got another grouse. We got a grouse that I didn't film me breasting out. Um... We got the knife that we're using here. This is a Buck 110. Uh, I don't know if I don't know what this is called. The uh, Department of Fish and Game gave me this as a thank you for running Hunter Ed classes. It's a great knife. It's light. It's got the same blade as a 110. It's stainless, uh, but it's got a very light handle and hard to lose. 
And then just because, uh, this is what I use to sharpen all my knives, and I recently get a lot of questions about it. Um, this is a DMT fine, and then very fine, um, diamond stone. It's an old one, as you can tell. Red and green. That'll get you as sharp as you need to be on broadheads, knives, whatever. Let's do some catching and cooking. Look at that. That's a honeybee. There's no honeybees in Alaska, so that's got to be out of somebody's uh, beehive. Cool. Before I clean this one, I don't know if you can see that. That is where the ball hit. And I don't know if you can hear that in the background. That is freedom. It's moose season. I live in the woods. There's people out here shooting. Gizzard. For those of you who haven't seen my other catch and cook videos, here's how you clean a gizzard. Run right down the top. You'll hit some resistance as you go in. You're going to peel it back. And you're going to be left with this sack of berries. Well, this time of year you're going to be left with this sack of berries. If it's purple, that's a good eating bird. That's a blueberry bird. Uh, this bird is from this year. And it has eaten nothing but gravel and blueberries, as you can see, for the longest time. So... Uh, it's not going to get much better than this as far as eating goes. So we save the gizzard. Reach down in here. We save the heart. Lovely, lovely. Ugh. For those of you who are like, oh, he's not eating the legs, don't trip. I save the legs, um, I smoke them a little bit, and then I throw them in chili. We use it in chili stock. All the meat comes off of the bone, and uh, you don't have to chew through all the tendon and stuff. So don't worry your happy little environmentalist heart. I do eat my legs. I eat my gizzards. I eat my hearts. Uh, yeah. All the rest of it gets used as trapping bait, so waste not, want not. All right, bacon in a skillet over fire with a glob of bacon grease. I like to cook my bacon and bacon. I like to cook my mushrooms and bacon. I like to cook my spruce hens wrapped in bacon over a nice bed of coals. Let's go twist a couple up. Let's get these cut into strips. That's all right, that's all right. That one's already in a strip. All right, now we're gonna take each strip, twist them up in bacon. Just gonna do that to each one. And I'll check in with you when we're done. That's hearts and gizzards and our test bacon. I'll tell you more about test bacon later. Doesn't that sound delicious? Doesn't that look delicious? Can you smell this? We're almost there. Now 
with such a good reveal. Shoot these all down here. So they cover most of the juices. And then we got all of these uh, king bleeds here. There we go. King Blue. Take the wrap back there. That's what's left. We got two rolls of spruce grouse and just a little bit of mushrooms. It came out super good. Um bacon wrapped spruce grouse is a hit my folks showed up a couple of neighbors showed up from down the way and uh, we had us a proper feast um, the mushrooms were the biggest hit King Belitz fried in bacon grease are absolutely delicious there's only two bites of these left my wife had to like set them aside because she knew I was trying to film a, a eating portion of this film anyway um, but yeah, these are delightful. Yeah. Yep. So I said earlier, like, I would explain about pre-bacon. With campfire cooking, bacon is an incredible temperature gauge or how hot your pan is. And I like to call it pre-bacon. I save some bacon ends or whatever if I'm cooking over a fire. Um, just to test out how hot my pan is. When you can drop bacon onto the pan and it sizzles, but does not stick, that's a perfect temperature. You throw bacon onto, the, bacon onto the pan and it immediately sticks. You're too hot throw bacon onto the pan and it does not sizzle and it just kind of sits there and goes limp you're not hot enough hmm all right <clears throat> king bull eats uh, penny buns porcini Bolita sedulous, etc. Cook them thoroughly. Um, fry them hard. If you're going to saute them, toss them with something with a little bit more texture, al dente pasta, etc. Because um, they're pretty soft. If you just saute them like you would a uh, Grocery store mushroom. If you're going to get blueberry birds, wrap them in bacon, cook it till the bacon's done, then the bird's done. And it's amazing. It's my favorite time of year bird season, it's moose season, sandhill crane season, harvest season, it's a great time, things are getting cooler, trapping season's coming up, it's fantastic, anyway, I'm going to finish this, like, comment, subscribe, I'll see you on the next one. Have fun. Shoot straight.